It's been a long time in the making, but students in the Central Campus Home Building course have finally finished their latest project, a beautiful brand new home. Today, I'm lucky to be here with their instructor, Daryl Kitterman, who's going to take us through a tour of this house. Daryl, thank you so much for being with us here today. Well, thank you for coming. Before we get into the tour of the home, could you tell us a little bit more about your class and what they're all about? Yeah, well, obviously one of the things we do is build a house, but we also build sheds. Uh, we study architecture a little bit. Uh, if the student was headed into architecture engineering, then he would like to be in my class because it gives him a leg up on everybody else that has never built anything. Uh, we do a lot of field trips to various locations. Uh, we look at components. We talk about how to make money. We talk about real estate, purchasing it, what the good things are and what the bad things are. So would you say building the house is the most important component in your class? It's a big piece, but what the students walk away with is far greater than that. That's fantastic. So was all the work on this home done by your students? Not 100%, but um, most everything was done. I will uh, say that we didn't do the HVAC. Uh, we did the plumbing under the supervision of a licensed plumber. We did the electric under uh, supervision of an electrician. And uh, the roof, we had some people come in and help us put that on. It was rather complicated, and the students were involved, certainly. Uh, but we did most everything. Now, the most interesting part is we are held to a little higher standard because it's student built. People go, oh my gosh, it's student built. We can't build like an average builder. We have to build it to a higher level than that. So we're a lot pickier than the average house you'd find. Well, that'd be great for a prospective buyer. So what are your exact plans for this house? We're going to try to get it sold. Uh, the money that's generated from the sale of this house will be what goes back into providing some money to build the next house. So could you take us through a tour of this home? Uh, some of the really high spots is the uh, bamboo flooring. Uh, obviously, all the kitchen appliances come with the house. Uh, out in the front, we have a uh, acid-stained driveway, so it's kind of a cocoa cordoban brown, and uh, we have beautiful uh, stone front on it, have uh, tall ceilings in the garage. We have an 8 by 16 garage door, so you can get in there with a very large vehicle. We have a cathedral ceiling, uh, in the uh, barrel vaulted one in the uh, master bedroom. One of the things we always do is we put the laundry room near the master bedroom where the clo dirty clothes are generated. And we think that's a big feature. The ladies seem to like that an awful lot rather than carry stuff up and downstairs. So what would you say that your favorite feature of this home is? I like the bamboo flooring. It was really nice to put down. Uh, the students liked it. It's hard as oak and uh, I can testify that we went through a lot of saw blades trying to get it cut and get it put into place. So is this actual house for sale? Yes, it's listed with Iowa Realty, but if you have your favorite realtor in the greater metro area of Des Moines, uh, they can certainly show you the house. Well, Daryl, thank you so much for this tour of this home. If you'd like to find out more about this house, please contact our website at www.channel12online.org. Here you'll find a link to the Iowa Realty web listing of this house. Thank you so much for joining us on location today. I'm Katherine Chido for Channel 12.